Hello everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game, you will need some paper. You need some things to draw and write with. It's good to have some colors this time. You probably need some counters. It'd be good to have dice for this game. And maybe a bear. So let's get started. What we need to do first is put some numbers on our paper. So let's take our pen or pencil, and near the bottom down here, let's write the number 3. And let's go ahead and put 4 and 5. That's a good start for now. And put a 2 and a 1 over here. So far so good. Let's count up though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And up here let's go ahead and put 6, and then 7, and then 8, 9, 10, keep counting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and let's stop at 25. So this game is called O No. And it's like shoots and ladders, but we're going to make it even better. All right? So we have the numbers 1 to 25, and in this game we're trying to get from 1, counting up, to 25. Let's make our board game more interesting, and then we'll try it out. First off, let's put some good things down. The first thing we want to have is a starting place. So let's go ahead and write down here, start. After that, let's put some landing places. So say we get to the number 3. And the number three is a good place, so we might want to put a happy face here. And if we land on three, we're going to go up by, how many more do we want? Five more. So if you land on the number three, you're going to count five more. One, two, three, four, five. So landing on three will take us to eight. Let's put some more other happy places on here. How about if we get to the number six? We get to go up by six more. That's great. What if we get to the number nine and we get to go up by, oh, what if we say we get to go up by 12 more? Now we have to be careful. We don't want to wait so many that we go off the board, but this is a good number. And maybe up here under 18. We put down, you go up by six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost to the end. That's wonderful. Okay, those are all happy places. What happens if we put some not happy places up here? All right, so what happens if we get to the four? And we have to go back by three. So one, four, one, two, three. We get back all the way to the one. What about if we ended up on the eight and we said, go back two? What would happen? On eight, we go back two, one, two. Oh, then we get to go back, go six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it might not be too bad to go backwards on the eight. What about if we're on the 12? And we have to go back. Let's say we have to go back 10. Where would that take us? And to make it really, really interesting, what if we were all the way on the 24? And we had to go back, say, 20. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And you have to go back three more. 1, 2, 3. Maybe you don't want to land on 24. So you can add more happy places and not happy places to your own boards. Let's add something else to our board. Let's add maybe something special like you end up on the number 14 and you get to roll again. We can put a couple of these in. What if we're on the number 20 and we get to roll again? Okay, we can put a couple of those in. Now let's put one more thing in to make it special and then let's play. We can have a special, special feature where if you land on a number, say like 15, when you, if the number that you have rolled with your dice is an even number, you go that number of spaces forward. If so, if you rolled a four, you go one, two, three, four. But what if you rolled an odd number? You'd have to go backwards. And if you rolled an odd number backwards, maybe you rolled a three. Then you go one, two, three, oh, and then you'd have to go ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not so good. So even forward, odd backwards. Maybe we put a couple of these in. Even means you get to go forward, and odd means you have to go backwards. Now for your game, you will have to decide do you have to land on 25 exactly, or do you have to get 25 or more? That's up to you. You decide how to play. So let's try the game. We're going to need some players. Let's see. How about a shiny copper penny? And how about a silvery dime? That's good. And a dice. This is a good dice. Let's use this one. All right. So copper is going to go first. And copper rolls a three. One, two, three. Go forward five. One, two, three, four, five. Go back two. One, two. Go forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go backwards ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And after all that, 2 ends up on the number 2. It's now Silver's turn. And Silver is going to roll. And Silver rolls a 5. Silver rolls a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a good roll. Everything's safe there. Now it's Copper's turn. And Copper rolls a 2. 1, 2, go backwards 3, 1, 2, 3, all the way back to the 1. Silver's turn. Silver rolls a 2. 1, 2, and Silver gets to 7. So that's how the game works. You keep taking turns, following the rules on the spaces that you land on, and you make your, all, your way all the way up to the number 25 or beyond. This looks like a fun game. Remember, you just need some paper, something to draw or write with, playing pieces, a dice, and maybe a bear.